Dear colleagues, this week we are talking about various methods and approaches on how to ensure that every learner is included in the educational process and nobody is left behind. The challenge for educators was and is to find an approach to students in order to effectively impact knowledge and practice skills and competence. Therefore, it is my honor and privilege to welcome a friend and colleague of mine, Julia Kravchenko. Julia is currently a Fulbright Visiting Scholar in the Department of Arts and Humanities Teachers College, Columbia University. She is also the head of the Critical Thinking Development Lab in the National Center Junior Academy of Sciences of Ukraine and the trainer of the Philosophy for Children program developed by Matthew Liebman. Since 2016, she has been working at the National Center Junior Academy of Sciences of Ukraine, where she organizes camps for teenagers at the national and international levels on the following topics, philosophy, Ukrainian culture, religion, and diplomacy, and cultural diplomacy. In addition, Ms. Kravchenko is the founder of the 1960s and the Descendants Movement, a festival for young people, an annual event that brings together students and teachers. Over the past six years, Julia has conducted about 30 camps for students in different regions of Ukraine, as well as in Poland and Belgium, where about 500 students took part. This practice has allowed her to develop own methodology for teaching liberal arts to youth, or the methodology for values formation and development of soft skills for students. Hi, Julian. I'm happy to see you, and thank you very much for agreeing to share your expertise. Hi, Olena. Nice to see you. Thanks for having me today. Julian, can you share the main principles of your work with teenagers? What is your approach based on? And how do you create motivation and involve all students in your work? Formation of students' motivation to study and uh, active inclusion of everyone uh, in the educational process uh, requires a set of measures from a teacher. In particular, they are uh, the ability to form a space of trust, which is not a one-time uh, uh, action. Then, uh, improve yourself, a continuous investment uh, in your competences and competent design of an educational product like lesson, camp, workshop, etc. Thanks a lot for your sharing and for your observations. Julian, can you now explain each point in more detail? So what goes into creating a space of trust for you? Trust is built throughout being in an emotional safe space. So what is emotional safe space? It is a space uh, in which uh, I am accepted, in which my talented uh, are recognized, in which I am respected, uh, treated with dignity and viewed as an equal. It is a place uh, where I have an opportunity to uh, speak and to be heard. I believe that this is um, also a necessary condition uh, for the formation of civil society. The factor uh, that help uh, to help form uh, an uh, emotional safe space are First, uh, the absence of evaluative judgment. And second, the lack of barrier between children. And what is meant by self-improvement and continuous investment in your competences since teachers constantly enhance their qualification? Uh -huh, I see. So it is important to change the model uh, teacher-student interaction. This requires uh, the teacher to train uh, such skills as the um, empathy, active listening, uh, and the ability to give uh, correct feedback. Teachers often objectify students, but children um, should uh, feel the partnership and adult uh, openness uh, for uh, cooperation. Uh, for me, it is not uh, only about knowledge when uh, teachers visit some courses and improve their, like, improve their level, uh, professional level. For me, it's more about skills, 
we as a teachers need new skills because uh, we were uh, educated in a system when we were objectified objective as and now we uh, continue to broadcast it so uh, today's children um, are different and they need new approaches in cooperation and uh, therefore changing the established habits of us uh, teachers requires this constant training so for me this is about this julia what are your suggestions regarding a proper design i believe that properly designed program significantly affect uh, the quality of uh, educational process uh, because uh, children's attention uh, and cognitive resources are limited and therefore it is so important uh, to correctly plan uh, activities tasks uh, and the presentation of a new uh, material uh, you can plan the curriculum of entire school day uh, in uh, in such a way that children uh, will not will be constantly interested uh, will not get tired uh, will get uh, new knowledge and um, practice uh, skill and will not waste time in uh, um, social networks so my training programs uh, includes uh, interactive uh, thematic interactive lectures meeting with famous people museum visiting um, so workshops um, on the critical thinking uh, development of emotional intelligence uh, successful communication um, design thinking storytelling uh, reflections and uh, i believe that uh, combining uh, in a correct way all this component um, make my educational uh, product uh, attractive for children for teenagers well i see what you mean let's move on to the final question were you able to implement this principle online oh yeah it was not easy uh, but uh, now uh, i'm successfully performing educational activities online so what is very important to remember all the time uh, that uh, each second is precious online. So uh, there should not be any delay uh, because um, attention resource increases many times compared uh, to the live format. So uh, the design of lesson and workshop program uh, should be more intensive uh, because uh, student, uh, because the switching of children's attention uh, should be uh, accelerated. The task uh, for teacher is to motivate the student in a short time uh, to uh, continue their study, um, studies on their own um, offline. Uh, to some extent, the online session should have um, an uh, effect of performance even <laughs> or show. So, of course, online applications and tools uh, of which there are um, already hundreds today uh, will help uh, here uh, and allow you to enjoy the variety of material um, submission, uh, knowledge testing, community team building, and uh, effective um, interaction of participant. Uh, but again, first of all, necessary to remember that each second uh, is precious online. Julia, I do appreciate your comprehensive explanation. It was such a pleasure to learn more about new methods and ideas that can help educators interact with the learners and build successful avenues for collaboration in the classroom environment. Thank you very much for your time and devotion.